Recently, a news report from the International Consortium of Investigative Journalists surfaced. This report was called the Pandora Papers. Senior Counsel Glenn de Godfrey is on full PR damage control after this. The Pandora Papers also expose how U.S. citizens move their money outside the country while facing criminal investigations or costly lawsuits. This is where Glenn Godfrey comes in. His companies in Belize have set up trusts, bank accounts, and corporations for an alleged murderer, a high-profile child sex offender, a mob associate connected to the Colombo crime family in New York, and a self-described constitutionalist who solicited the murder of a judge, a prosecutor, and an IRS agent. Godfrey has not responded to multiple requests for comment. 600 reporters from dozens of countries investigating close to 12 million records from 14 offshore service providers in tax havens around the world, like Belize. Three of those companies have headquarters here. CCS Trust Limited, supposedly located in the Blake Building, and Sil Trust Limited and Glenn de Godfrey & Company LLP, both companies located on Barrack Road in Belize City and owned by Godfrey. The report seeks to question our firm's integrity and good standing. The report, while not imputing any criminality to us, sought to affiliate my person and my firm with an alleged murderer and other unsavory characters, including one Robert Durst. We have written to the consortium seeking a complete retraction of all its reference and report in relation to my person and Glenn D. Godfrey as a legal firm. A representative from the International Consortium of Investigative Journalists told of news today that, quote, we have not heard from Mr. Godfrey in recent days, unquote. Since the reports emerged, Godfrey released two written statements on Monday for both companies, saying, quote, the publication, while not alleging any criminal activity by our firm, cast general aspersions that we were somehow negligent in reviewing prospective clients before accepting them. The matters referred to in the publication are alleged to have occurred around 2003, unquote. Just before news time on Monday, Godfrey released a two-minute recorded video statement. The report is seriously defamatory and has caused irreparable damage to my person and the legal firm's reputation. Should the International Consortium of Investigative Journalists refuse to accede to our demand, we will seek legal redress. We maintain that our firm never had as client the individual in question. Our due diligence was completed to ensure that we never served the client in the capacity alleged by the media report in question. Over our almost 50 years of operation in the legal profession, we have served our clients diligently with high integrity and service excellence. Thank you. In another press release issued today, Godfrey makes no mention of legal demands to the ICIJ. It reads, quote, We regret that the ICIJ report while pursuing noble intent pursued it in a fashion that employed threats heavy-handed bullying and refusal to peruse the matter with legal and journalistic professional ethical guidelines. The report had details and shielded entities resident in the U.S. jurisdiction that were the legal and accounting representatives of the individuals and matters in question. The report chose to attack international agencies while refusing to establish the international regime for the business sector during the time period of concern. The ICIJ proposed to be a representation of a consortium of professional journalists, but employed unethical practices in its research, reporting, and communications with our firm." Unquote. Praising the ICIJ on its work with the Pandora Papers is Belize's Financial Intelligence Unit, FIU, which says that while no actual law-breaking, by the mere act of accessing and providing these services as alleged in the reports, they suggest extremely poor due diligence and oversight in the conducting of business by corporate service providers. The FIU says this alone would be of serious concern to the FIU and its anti-money laundering counterparts. The release says, quote, Finally, we place on record our appreciation for the value that investigative journalism brings to the process. While it often cannot provide all the answers to the questions raised, it assists the work of law enforcement and regulatory authorities by providing useful information from, at times, unconventional sources. Unquote. Reporting for Love News, Hippolyta Novello.